How's it going guys? It's Amazing Animal Adventures and today I'm going to be doing a little rehab on this rat snake. So this little guy was given to me by somebody who uh, you know knew I was really into reptiles and stuff. I guess he got stuck in some construction mortar and um, she had carefully peeled them off and put them in a container and given them to me. So it's kind of my job to kind of assess his health a little bit and try to get as much of this sticky, nasty stuff as I can off. He also looks like he has some kind of sore on the side of his face. I don't know if that's uh, from the construction mortar or something else, but I'll also take a look in that and uh, see what I can do about that. The end goal is to get this guy fit enough to release him back into the wild. I don't know how long that'll take, but uh, I guess we'll find out. It might be a little bit difficult to work with him because he is a pretty feisty dude, not afraid to snap at all, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull him out and we can start seeing what we can do about him. Hello guy. We're going to take you out to take a look at you, I know. You're in a feisty mood, aren't you? So here I am with this little snoot of a snake here. Um, I'm in just our bathroom. Unfortunately, I don't have like a nice sanitary veterinary lab. That'd be nice, but I don't. So I just have, you know, just a bathroom sink and a pot of warm, not hot, but warm water. And I'm going to see how much of this stuff I can get out, as well as cleaning this weird sore on the side of his head. I don't really know what it is, but I'm going to clean it, and then I think I'll put some uh, rubbing alcohol on it to kind of really clean it out, and then I'll see how it's looking tomorrow. Another great example of how animals just love to make things difficult, even when you're trying to help them, they just, they see you as a predator, and that's their instinct, they can't really help that. But it still cracks me up. So now I'm just going to apply some rubbing alcohol on some of the spots where he's missing scales and has a little bit of the wound. I don't think he's gonna like this, but we'll see. So, you know, not all this stuff came off, but I got a lot of it off and exposed wounds like this that were kind of hard to see among all the stuff. Now this wound has been nicely cleaned, we can get this disinfectant in there. Oh, he does not like that. I'm sorry, buddy. That will be all for today. I'm going to wipe out his temporary enclosure and uh, go ahead and put him back in. Okay, guys, it's been like a day since the previous treatment, and uh, he's doing really, really well. And the biggest thing though is that he is actually going blue, which basically means that he's going to shed. His eyes are turning milky and stuff, which is a sign that he's going into shed. So, um, yeah, it's really, really good news for me because honestly, one of the biggest things I'm worried about is I don't know if this could happen, but possibly all this gunk that's stuck on his body, giving him like an artificial stuck shed when he shed the first time in the wild. So I'm really, really happy that he's going to shed now. I was planning on letting him go tomorrow, but I think now I'm actually going to keep him until after he sheds so I can see how well that goes and, you know, make sure it just kind of all runs smoother. And then hopefully we'll be letting go a good as new little rat snake that's doing really, really, really well. So guys, a few more days have passed. As you guys know, the snake has been going through shed and uh, well, exactly what I was worried about ended up happening. It, the little guy got a terrible case of stuff shed because of his conditions. So I'm gonna do what you need to do when snakes have stuck shed like this. Oh my goodness. That looks terrible. Look at that. That's not good. He seems awake and really alert. That's a good sign. Come on, just chill in the water here. Already some of it's coming out, which is nice.
So here I am on the day of this guy's uh, big release. I'm sure he's, as you can see, really anxious. <laughs> Still has no idea that I was helping him out. Just sees me as a threat. You can see him there post to strike, ready to lash out. Little goof. Um, but yeah, really excited to let this guy go. We found this really nice little area. Chill. Found this really nice little area. Lots of logs and stuff for him to hide under. And uh, a creek nearby where you can just get water and stuff. Should be uh, plenty of food around here for him. So yeah, I'm really excited just to, you know, put this guy back into the wild. Uh, he still does have some um, wounds a little bit. He still does have some of those wounds down his body where there's, uh, where the scales have been ripped off by the mortar when he was pulled off. But uh, I've treated those as best I could. Um, yeah, I just treated them again right before I took them out here. And uh, I think they will just heal up just fine. All the stuck shed's gone, and uh, he should be good to be returned fully into the wild and do okay.